Good morning, you one, and welcome to Friday. You've made it through your first week of online learning. Well done to you. It's not always the easiest thing, um, but you have made it. Now you get to finish today's activities and then enjoy the weekend with no schoolwork. Silent cheer! Today is Friday, the 23rd of July, 2021. You have three lessons to do every day, and today that's English with Mrs. Bryant, Maths with Mrs. Topman, and PDHPE with Mrs. Bryant. Now your English lessons, when we're at school, we usually don't have English on Friday because you go out to music in that time instead. So there's no English subject to click into today on courses. You'll need to go to the pastoral care notes and I'll attach your English lesson underneath your morning message in the pastoral care section on Scepter. So that's something a little bit different. Zoom meetings. There's no Zooms with me today. I'm in at school. So if you or mummy or daddy need help with something online, you'll need to contact Mrs. Middleton because Mrs. Bryant is also in at school. Um, so there's no Zooms with me. A few groups, two reading groups are going to be reading with Mrs. Burke though. Um, so you'll need to scroll down in the pastoral care notes underneath this morning message and find out if that's you. I'll list which students are required um, it's the same people who read with Mrs. Burke on Wednesday and I'll tell you what time and I'll put the link in there for you to press at that time to read with Mrs. Burke. Your sticker books are here. Let me show you how to use them. So you are going to on Seesaw see your sticker book. It's been there all week but finally Seesaw has upgraded and we can use it now. To click my sticker book you're going to go down to the dot 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 and click that. Then you're going to scroll up to where it says edit post. There's lots of different options here and it can get confusing, but you want to edit the post. I will be adding stickers in here when you do things that are very, very amazing. And I have lots of different types of stickers for you to see. Down the side here, you can see there's three pages in your sticker book. This is the front cover. The first thing you can do is get a pencil from down the bottom here and write your name or click T for text and type your name. Then you can click onto your second page and you'll see any stickers I've added. You can actually click onto these and move these around. But first you actually need to click the pointer. So here's the pointer. It's, you have to click the pointer to be able to grab the sticker. It's like the grabby hand. So click the pointer or the grabby hand down here and then you can move your sticker wherever you want it on your page of your sticker book. You can make it really, really small or really, really big. You could put them in an order based on the ones you like the most and the ones you like the least. Put your favorite on this page and your other ones over here. You could write me a little note on the third page and I'll keep adding stickers here too. So that is lots of fun. Make sure you click the green tick when you're finished to save your work. Otherwise, it will just go back. I hope you have lots and lots of fun um, playing around with your sticker book and seeing which stickers I add in there um, each day and each afternoon. You won't get a sticker every day, but it's a special treat if you do get a sticker. So make sure you're checking. All right, today the devotion is not with me. It's with Mrs. Faye. So you can scroll down in pastoral care and watch the, what she has made for you. Um, if you think you're ready to move up a reading level, what I need you to do is get mum or dad to record you reading your Wooshka book out loud. That way I can check how you're going um, and make sure you answer the comprehension questions at the end and then tell me if you got two out of five or you got four out of five because the website will mark it for you. So you can just tell me at the end of your video. Um, but if you read out loud a Wooshka book for me and do the comprehension questions, then I can see if you're ready to go up a reading level. It's a little bit hard because if we we're at school, I would be reading with you one-on-one -on -one to work out when you need to move. But this way, if you think or mum or dad thinks you need to go up a level, just do a video of it and upload it to Seesaw, please. Um, the uh, Seesaw videos can only go for a maximum of five minutes. After five minutes, it cuts you off. So maybe only read the first couple of pages of a Wooshka book, not the whole thing. So you won't really get to the comprehension questions. Don't worry too much about them. All right. Have a great day. Oh, before I go, here are some of um, uh, some amazing pieces of work that have come through on Seesaw that I wanted to highlight. Look at Freddie's amazing colorful shadow. What a great job he did. Violet has been doing some beautiful writing. Look how neat her handwriting is and perfect her spelling is. 
with a beautiful picture that's neat and has color. You know I like that. Well done, Violet. And Eden, a lovely photo with lots of ways that she can be sharing Christ's kindness with others. And I know, Eden, you are very good at doing that. So well done, sweetheart. All right, everyone, have a fabulous day. Bye from me.